never be If you never try, you will never see Stayed in Africa, we ain't never leave So the ones don't sleep in our history When no slave ships, when no misery Call me crazy, or isn't he? See, I fell asleep, and I had a dream It was all black Hey, Grim. Hey, Shaka. What you read? Long division. Math to end the Christmas break? No, nah, Grim. It's a it's a novel by a new black author about race relations from 1964 to the present day. You should read it. No need, baby. We're living it. Hey, Daddy. Hey, baby girl. You ready for school? Yeah. Just got to get ready for this HBCU scholarship competition. Uh, what's that again? The Historically Black College and University competition. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you'll get it. And then my princess will be able to go to Howard or Spelman or Cornell either. <laughs> well, I haven't won it yet. They don't decide until the end of February. Don't want to jinx it. Nonsense, baby. Name it and claim it. God's got you. Okay, Graham. Well, I'm off to school. I'll see y'all right after. Mm, bye, sugar. Goodbye, well, princess. Safe shot. Why are you filling her head up with false hope? We barely getting by as is. There's no way we can pay for those types of schools. I know, Linda, I know. I just didn't want to kill her dreams. Don't you mean your dreams? Sometimes I think you're trying to live your life through her. What's wrong with one more for your kid, Linda? Nothing, I just... I just don't want her disappointed let, if Look, we... let me worry about that, huh? I'll pick up an extra shift or if I have to or job number three, so be it. So right now, I just need a couple hours for job number two. Listen, I tried calling you all last night to talk this out, but you kept sending me the voicemail. And that's the game you want to play? I'm done.
shy, and whatever. Just wanted to make sure that there'll be no hard feelings once I'm awarded that HBCU scholarship award this year. It's a little early to be writing acceptance speeches, don't you think? Plus, I think this is the best essay I've ever written. <laughs> oh, that optimism looks so cute on you. Hope you wear defeat just as well. Hey, Shy, is Pocahontas stepping off her reservation again? You know what? I'm not even going to. You know what? It's, it's not important. You're not important. is mad. <laughs> yep, she mad. <laughs> She'll be all right. Word on the street is she and Calvin got in a big fight last night and he broke up with her. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Serves her right the way she treats people these days. He's too good for her. It sounds like somebody's got a crush. Not even. Boys are a distraction I don't need right now. If you say show shy, I do say show shy. See you after class. What does anyone know about SNCC? Andrea? Uh, weren't they just a student organization trying to register black voters or something? That is one of their contributions to the civil rights movement, yes. You have something to ask, Cheyenne? Yes, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee wasn't just a student organization. They helped stage the sit-ins and protests against segregation, the Freedom Rides of 1961, and they had a large role in the March on Washington. Today's equivalent would be the Detroit 300 or the Black Lives Matter movements. Hmm. I don't know if I would put BLM and the Detroit 300 on the same level as a snake. Yeah, my daddy says that the Black Lives Matter protesters are just thugs, trying to justify their thuggish ways. Oh, so loud, Daddy Wood would say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just think that was so funny. The disruption you caused, Cheyenne. But I didn't even do it. Yes, you did. You laughed at his little joke. I'm so sick of no, him talking about my daddy. I Every day I have to come here and deal with this. Oh, my goodness. When Cheyenne Jones and Andrea Wilcox please report to the main office. Cheyenne Jones and Andrea Wilcox please report to the main office. Principal Anderson, she called my daddy a sellout. I did not say that. Principal Anderson, don't listen yes, to her. She, I don't know the whole story. She is anyway. Ladies, she ladies, that's not what I called you in here for. Oh. I called you down here to discuss with you about the HBCU College Scholarship Competition. You were nominated by faculty for various reasons. This contest is very important, not only for you, but for the school as well. The more recognition this high school gets, the more grant money I can lobby around for more programs. Yeah, yeah we, we remember. remember. Well, this year I convinced the committee to televise the event. Really? That's great. Yeah, that's great and all, but why are we both called in here? Yes. Well, in interest of good TV, the committee has authority to do a tiebreaker. This means instead of an, a student award show, this will be a live showdown. We can call it the scholarship competition. You can have a topic on uh, America and post-racial society, and all the student bodies will be there to vote winner take all. It'll be good publicity for you and the school as well. You're doing the most right now, Principal Anderson, but whatever. I'm in. And Andrea, I would like for you to invite your father. It'd be good to have somebody of importance in the audience to support you. I guess so. Should I have my parents there too? If they want to, you can. Now run along to class. I'm going to put out this notification today about the scholarship competition today. Okay, okay Principal, Principal Anderson. Anderson. Now, I know little Miss Bookworm did not work a rule against the principal's office. Ha ha, very funny, best friend. Mm -hmm. But no, it was good news, sort of. 
Turns out, me and Andrea tied for the essay contest. And now we'll have to battle it out on live TV. Me versus Andrea. Wait, Poco. <laughs> Isn't her bourgeois daddy all high and mighty now? Why does she need a scholarship like that? Yeah, what you know, Dr. Anderson's always trying to suck up to her dad. Yep, and on top of that, the student body has to vote live for who we get it. Ah, that's some bullshit. I know, me versus Miss Popularity. I mean, she used to be cool and all, but ever since her dad got voted city council president, she's been unbearable. Mm -hmm. She has no chill. Yep, she a Bama for sure. A what? You know what a Bama is? No. By any means necessary, she will do any one to win. Distraction, huh? Uh, shut it, Cole. It wasn't even like that. I saw the way your face when you walked up to us. Uh, whatever. It was just a simple, friendly, uh -huh. little something. Gesture. Something. Mm -hmm. Gesture. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I think the word you're looking for is crush. No. Yes. Remember, distraction. Things I don't need. Boys. All that. <laughs> evil. Um. Well, I, I would assume that you wouldn't. Uh. What's the word? Entertain distractions. Exactly. <laughs> Cabin exactly. out of distraction. Hey, y'all need a ride? You know what? Actually, I ooh, I just love the weather we're having, and I just really want to get some exercise and fresh air. I hate you. But oh, shy here was just complaining how much her feet have been killing her. You guys have fun. Okay, thanks. Bye. So, I guess you heard about me and Andrea. Yeah, sorry. Not sorry about that. I don't know. It just got impossible to talk to her. With everything that's going on around us, you know, she's just so superficial. Yeah, I know. It's like she runs around parroting whatever her daddy says. Exactly. You know, kids our age are being killed daily. You know, black on black, white on black, pop on black. Now she seems to be able to talk about it's a whitewashed daddy's job and how these thugs bring it on themselves. Yeah, that's sad. It sounds like a lot of self-hate and insecurity to me. A ton. You ever heard of Kesey Lehman? No. I read his book over the break. I think you should check it out. Alright, thanks. I'll do that. Now, if only I could figure out the direction of my speech and beat Andrea in the showdown. Well, if you need any help, consider me Team Shy all day. Thanks, Calvin. Anytime, Shy. Well, here we are. You know what, don't touch that. Okay.
Hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> Where's Cola? She usually right on your hip. Oh, I got a ride home. A ride home? From who? Just a friend. I don't know nobody named Just a Friend. Mm -hmm. Don't give me that look. What's his name? Huh? Child, come on, spit it out. I'm not getting any younger. Calvin, dang. Calvin? The Reynolds boy? Does your daddy know about this? <laughs> it's not that serious. Please don't tell daddy. He won't hear from me. Grandma. Oh, mm -mm, I'm sipping my tea. Seriously, though, you should get on the mic and spit that shit like Kendra got the Oscars. Girl, stop playing. I'm serious, though. That is not going to happen. But it could happen. Hey, what's up, Team Shy? Hey, 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 Calvin. Hey, Calvin. Here's your book back. Loved it. You know, it actually got me thinking. You know, why don't she use this speech to expose some of these hypocrites we have around here? Like Dr. Anderson? Snyder and Andrea. Um, I don't think pissing off the faculty will do me any favors. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. But it sure makes for good TV. <coughs> like Kendrick at the Oscars. No. <laughs> Cola. I'm just saying. Anyway, I think I've got a good statistical argument that will help me win. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, but remember, anyone can spout stats. You know, to truly be felt. I'm gonna speak for the heart. Um, well, actually, I have to run. Uh, we'll talk later. <laughs> right? Okay. Alright, peace out. Cola, that's yes, certainly. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. Not another word, Cola, I'm just saying. <laughs> Driving in his nice car in that neighborhood, 
your neighborhood that it looked suspicious. And when they pulled him over, he was talking all this civil rights crap and resisting. So they had no choice but to use force and arrest him. Civil rights crap? No choice? Are you serious? If you hadn't been filling up his head with all this protest and pro-black stuff, he wouldn't even be in this mess. <laughs> really? Wow. Blame everyone except the coward with the badge, huh? You know, knew Calvin. At least I thought you did. But if you think he deserves this, then he was more right about you than he ever knew. Andre, you need to go now. Forget you. Baby girl. Baby girl, look at me. Come on now, it's Grammy, talk to me. You're not in the mood, Graham. You haven't been in the mood for much of anything this past month. I can't tell you the last time I saw you smile. I can. It was right before Calvin was hurt. Baby, I know this has been hard on you. Kids, your age shouldn't be going through this. No, they should be going through this. I just don't get it. Suspicion? Resisting? Wouldn't you resist if somebody wrongly accused you? How am I supposed to write about a post-racial society when we clearly don't live in one? Don't you let them get in your head and ruin what's in your heart. I mean, really, what's the point? Eric Gardner, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin. Good people always get shafted. That is not the Cheyenne I know saying that. The Cheyenne I know is no quitter. Now you have something worth saying. Make them listen. I hear you, Graham. But I... But... No. Your grandma's right. Don't you have that TV competition coming up? Sounds like a good opportunity to me. Scholarship, Your buddy. daddy and I will worry about that. You just do what you gotta do. Okay? Alright. Look, look, they try to treat me like, uh huh, little rascal. Cause my hair's like buckwheat, I can see right past you. They say I was nuts like I was born in cash. We all products of the book of Matthew, the same profits is making profit off the sinks. The new order. Dr. Anderson, we may have a problem. Bill Doe Mary, Trust. So my faith will rise as you guys categorize the things aside. Like I'm the only person that I ever dealt with pride or being broke or being. Hey, hey, hey. You ready? Just give me the word. I have these looky loos put out here with a. No need. I can handle the stairs. But I do need your help with something else. I got you. With Cheyenne Jones, please report to the main office. Cheyenne Jones, please report to the main office. And I'm sure your father's looking forward to seeing the moment that you're out there in this competition. If you want my father's support, this competition better turn out the way we planned. Have a seat, Miss Jones. I'm fine standing. It's brought to my attention that your change in your appearance could be worrisome, especially today. How so? Well, here you are dressed in all black, a hoodie, afro. Some folks might find that threatening. <laughs> really? I've heard of fashion statements, but not fashion threats. And whose concern was this anyway? It's not important. Never mind. I have an idea of who it was. What is, though, is that we go on live TV soon. And I want to make sure you're on board. Oh, I'm on board. This is a great opportunity, as you said. Good. Good. Go practice your speech. I'll see you out there soon. See you out there, Mr. Anderson. That's Dr. Anderson.
Everybody, quiet down, everybody, quiet down. <laughs> this is fertility, okay? Good. My people, we have come so far so fast. Not long ago we were struggling to be equal and today, today we are in positions of importance and power. Done are the days of we shall overcome for now we have arrived. I know some of you think it's hard to give up your thuggish ways, but if we can all just learn to assimilate... Oh, I can't listen to this. Oh, 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 oh. For months, I racked my brain. And I had a great speech, but that is not the message you need to hear today. America wants you to believe that we're beyond race. The actions show our lives aren't worth more than this. Andrea here we wants you to believe that silence and blind obedience is the best route. But I'm here to tell you that you're worth more than this. Your lives matter. All of us are important. Even Andrea's short side of self. Letting others define us as thugs or super predators gives them power over us. Our silence is their strength. My friend, our friend, was unjustly beaten and arrested by those sworn to protect and serve us. Unarmed, no threat. And while he's still recovering physically, mentally, and emotionally, that trauma will last forever. Meanwhile, the officer involved is still on active duty. I refuse to let Calvin's assault be in vain, and I refuse to remain voiceless. So, until that officer is charged, we'll be protesting every day until justice is served by any means necessary. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Tomorrow, cause there is no way of stopping me. Ellie Sandy.